Hello everyone. This video is a tribute to Matteo Ricci. Right behind me is, uh, is a statue of him. And uh, he was a Jesuit priest. And I'll just show you his, uh, the years of his life. He was, so he was born 1552, died 1610. And he was kind of a, kind of a hero of Macau. And I'll give you a quick uh, bio of his life. So he, uh, he was born in Italy and later went to Portugal. And um, he was a Jesuit priest. And eventually he went to Goa. That was a Portuguese colony in India. And eventually he went to Macau. And finally, he eventually went to mainland China but basically, he was like a Leonardo da Vinci of his time. Incredibly talented, spoke several languages, was an expert in several uh, different sciences. And uh, what was most amazing about him was that he was, uh, he was actually an advisor to the emperor in China, which is incredible because uh, during his time, I believe China had a uh, Basically, it was closed off to foreigners, but somehow he had uh, managed to go to mainland China. He became an expert in Chinese, and actually classical Chinese. And uh, he had amazing memory ability. He actually was able to memorize Chinese classics and could recite them forwards and backwards. And he actually mesmerized Chinese scholars of his time. And as I mentioned, uh, he basically became uh, at least an advisor to the imperial court in Beijing and I believe he was the first Westerner to be buried in, in, in Beijing at least he was officially allowed to be buried there and uh, he's famous for a map uh, he made a map of the known world and he showed that to the imperial court and uh, part of the reason that he's famous in Macau was that he, he lived here for a while and uh, he did lots of good things here. Um, and yeah, he was really uh, quite an interesting man. So as I mentioned, he was kind of like a Leonardo da Vinci of his time. He had incredible abilities. Um, you could think maybe uh, similar to a man like Elon Musk who has incredible abilities in so many fields. And mesmerize people um, and anyway so this man Matteo Ricci um, he um, he's a personal hero of mine for uh, things he was able to do and uh, yeah I, I really admire him and I've actually um, written a bio about him before but uh, yeah this man is, is quite incredible so imagine um, going to a faraway land where no one spoke your language, a language even remotely close to yours, uh, and he was somehow able to learn, uh, learn their language and also classical Chinese and be able to mesmerize their scholars. Uh, it's just mind-blowing. And he became uh, an advisor to the uh, imperial court and uh, I can't I can't even imagine how difficult that would be most foreigners wouldn't even be allowed anywhere near there yet he was basically an advisor because they were so impressed with his abilities so I mentioned he made a map of the the known world he sh shared that with them he taught them a bit about astronomy one thing that really mesmerized them was um, he knew a lot about astronomy and I believe he was able to predict uh, an eclipse, which was uh, incredible. And so they, uh, yeah, that definitely got him uh, a bit famous there. So anyway, this video was a tribute to Matteo Ricci, a Jesuit priest, but more importantly to me, he was kind of a bridge between East and West. Uh, and he did some really amazing things. Uh, yeah, so he's definitely a genius, spoke several languages, was an expert in several subjects, and 
for me, yeah, he was uh, a great bridge between East and West. And uh, yeah, I won't go more into the, the bio. He's a very fascinating man. But uh, if you come to Macau, there's some buildings for him. And you can see the statue, which is right next to the ruins of St. Paul. It's right there. And the statue is here. So definitely I recommend you come uh, and learn more about him. I believe uh, he's one of the most amazing scholars in history, in my opinion. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed this video about my tribute to Matteo Ricci. Appreciate you give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd be happy also if you could share this video and feel free to leave a comment. And if you have anything else to say about this amazing man, Matteo Ricci, uh, I'd appreciate it if you could uh, yeah, leave a comment and uh, we can discuss further. Alright, hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.